Leicester, your hometown club, where lots of your family still live, this time last year, this time two years ago, they were going into the final day with a real chance of top yeah. four. This season has been different. They, they were FA Cup holders. That, that went at Nottingham Forest early on. It's been an odd season. It's been yeah. a very inconsistent season. They've had Europe as well. How do you interpret what you've seen? Um, I think their, their, their form has kind of fluctuated. They've, when they perform, they are a good side and they are a sort of top eight, top nine side. This season, they have just been so bitty. You'll see, I mean, Jamie Vardy being back is a massive plus for them. He scored so many goals in his game since he's returned. <clears throat> but Leicester, I still believe that Leicester have a, a good core of players and a good squad of players. Probably need a couple more in certain positions. But because Leicester have faltered, I think other teams have got better as well that have forced them to falter. So we don't really have a conversation about Leicester in top four anymore, do we? No. Which is a shame. Yeah. Because they were in it for a while. Yes. And two fourth place finishes up until about two or three games left mm. in the season last even one, one yeah, yeah. Mm. which took them into fifth so they were they were establishing themselves as a very very big club so I yeah. think this season feels like to me with again so many injuries that this position they're going to find themselves in feels a little bit off where they should be mm. I think if you look at the whole picture of since the owners have come in and what Leicester have done with their managers over the years it feels like to me if you're putting if you're putting Leicester in a position Dion mm. on average you'd put them as a Top seven club? Yeah. Top six? Top eight. Yeah, top eight. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah, in that, definitely. In that little bracket. Yeah.